We're back with Sterling Finney and Myron Fletcher from Football U. It's a nonprofit organization that works with youth and not just football, but also in academics and the social side of things. And I want to pick back up where we left off because just about a month ago, professional football player Richard Sherman was slammed in the media just because he was interviewed as soon as he was finished with the game. Adrenaline's rushing and he just didn't give a great interview, but the way that it was sort of thrown out there was just that he was, you know, quote unquote, a thug. And I, I bring this up just because you're, you're working with the kids in your program to teach them how to, I wouldn't say handle situations exactly like that, but just to see that it's, there's the football side of it, there's the academic side of it, and then there's sort of the social skills. What do, you, what do you say to your kids when you're working with them about how to handle situations like that, how to control yourself on and off the field? Well, you know, we definitely explain to them that that was not the right way, you know, to go about handling it. But we also explained to them that, you know, this is an emotional game. And uh, to stick, you know, a mic in his face uh, seconds after the biggest win probably in his career, uh, you know, I, we felt like that, you know, the network or whoever mm -hmm. interviewed him was, was a little bit at fault as well. And so, you know, to ask him to turn that emotional piece off in so much, you know, in a quick of time, uh, it just wasn't realistic, you know, being from a uh, football experienced uh, background, that's very difficult to be able to turn that off at the drop of a dime. How do you teach composure, though, for athletes? I mean, that's an interesting concept when you think about it. How do you teach a young person who's on the field when you're saying focus, focus, go, go, push, 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 and then on the one side, if they're sitting in front of a college counselor or an interviewer to be you know, composed, or how do you, how do you, what kind of things do you do in the program to teach them that? Well, it's not anything that you can just start on Wednesday and expect them to do it on Monday. Mm -hmm. It takes time to train someone how to uh, socially uh, act in one arena and then turn around and have a whole nother hat in another arena. And so we, first of all, we live by example. You know, they see us in different hats and how we interact with each other, them, their parents, uh, as well as in the business arena. And then also, we actually hands-on school them mm -hmm. in showing them that we have to get our vocabulary up mm -hmm. because I believe Richard Sherman showed a tremendous amount of social skills in the heat of the moment, as Sterling said, in one of the probably the biggest game of his career, and they didn't have to bleep out one word. Yeah, yeah. And to me, in 2014, that is a that shows composure. Mm -hmm. He has a vocabulary that can subsidize for that uh, or substitute for that. And so uh, we believe in getting our vocabulary mm -hmm. up. Uh, showing that intelligence. I want to switch gears for a second because, you know, let's be honest here, we've got tons of kids who want to be professional athletes, but the percentage who actually go on to have a career in the NFL is very, very slim. What other, <laughs> again, you guys are former athletes, what skills will somebody's child pick up, whether it's from a young age to high, middle school to high school, even if they can't go on to play football professionally or even in college? Our biggest thing is, uh, you know, we allow these kids to be successful as young men. Uh, we just use football to do it, uh, but through the academic piece and the emotional and psychological enhancement that we provide for the kids, uh, we like to think that we're uh, preparing them for life mm -hmm. and, and life uh, issues that is going to come upon them you know, just through everyday living. And so our biggest thing is sports is the hook, but uh, you know, our whole deal is to help these kids be successful young men in life because these kids are going to be, uh, you know, co-workers, they're going to be supervisors, they're going to be husbands, they're going to be fathers. And so we understand that. And uh, that is probably a little more realistic than becoming a NFL or professional athlete. Mm -hmm. And so everything that we do, you know, we try to provide those things and put those things in front I of them. I think that's a great way to wrap things up. That's, that's really quite poignant. I, where can people go for more information, Myron? Uh, with the website, and we've got that information on the screen. Where can they go? The website is stlfootballu.org. That's uh, the letter U, mm -hmm. not Y-O-U. Uh, they can email us at footballu, the letter U, 2012.com, uh, or they can reach us by phone at 314 four five six three three oh four 
And I see there you've got Saturdays, you've got the Little League for the young kids, and you move up from middle school and 2 p.m. for high school. Um, and that's at the River's Edge Sports Complex up in Florissant. And lastly, I want to, you have an event coming up this summer that we want to be, plug, be sure to plug before we wrap it up. Yes, we have the Midwest High School Combine July 26th uh, at 3051 Industrial Park Place. That's in St. Peter's, Missouri. Okay. All right, great. Well, no, it's been a pleasure. I've, I feel like I've taken away something from this, and I think it's great what you guys are trying to do. And again, if you want more information, we have that for you. Go check it out if you have a, a child that's really interested in football, or again, just something to help cultivate who they are. Check out Football U. Now, after this break, we'll learn about another organization building a creative culture of sustainability in our community. Stay tuned for more 